Hey there everybody, it's me Dalton again with another daily devotional. Sorry it's so late, I'm just now getting off work and getting to do this. Uh, but with that being said, we're going to be in Romans chapter 6, verses 20 through 23. When you, you were slaves to sin, you were free from the obligation to do right. And what was the result? You were now ashamed of the things you used to do things that end in eternal doom. But now you are free from the power of sin and have become slaves of God. Now you do those things that lead to holiness and result in eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. When we're living in sin, we don't feel obligated to do things that are right. But when we accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, we become ashamed of the things that we used to do that would lead us to eternal doom. Once we accept Christ as Lord, we become slaves of God, causing us to do things of holiness that result in eternal life. The penalty of sin is death. But, isn't it so good that through Christ Jesus our debt has been paid? And we are offered a free gift of salvation? I mean, imagine you just had all this debt in the world built up that you would never be able to pay off. And some kind person comes over and says, You know what? All that debt, don't worry about it. I'll pay it. Of course, it's going to make you be like, oh, what do I owe you? I mean, there's got to, there's got to be a way you, you want something of this. And then he says, no, don't worry about it. That's kind of what Jesus did for us. You know? We would never be able to pay our debt of sin. But Jesus loved us so much. He said, let me pay it for you. Let me take those burdens. Ask for nothing in return, except for accept that He is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that He did die on the cross for our sins. If you haven't already, accept Christ today. It's the best gift you could ever get. I hope this message has found you well. I hope you are blessed hearing it. As I am blessed reading from the Word of God and saying what God has put on my heart. I love you all, and I hope you have a good day.